What's up guys, welcome back. That's right, dude, this, this is a good video. A great video topic, I think it can change a lot of lives. All right, this isn't from me, this is just, this is it, dude, this is the truth. I'm coming to you guys with some truth and I wanna hear what you think about it. Okay, I've struggled with social anxiety for a long time. Still not all the way over it. Still experience it. Sucks, it's like a little demon. You know, stuck in here, you have trouble breathing, you, you start looking around, you're not at peace. It sucks, dude, it doesn't feel alpha. Okay, look guys, this is what I've realized. You're going to experience social anxiety, feeling like you could be judged, cast out, not liked by these girls, not liked by these friends, by the employer, not by like people when you're the one doing the judging. When you decide to judge someone, what happens is you're playing God and you are not God. When you play God, you put yourself up here and you, you are setting a standard, whether you realize this or not, a standard for yourself. And then when you don't live up to that standard, you experience shame, you experience anxiety, just trying to be God on a daily basis causes massive anxiety. By you judging other people, you make it so you're judging yourself. When you stop judging people, you stop judging yourself. You let people live. This is huge, man. Because more than ever in 2019, what we have is the internet where tons of guys and girls, but mostly guys I would say, struggle with social anxiety, are the ones sitting behind a computer and what happens is that they go on all these videos and they they just shell out judgment this guy's a fucking idiot trump retard i don't care what you think about trump i don't care what you think about anyone you're going on forums you know what we're all calling people idiots we're all judging people while we sit behind our computer and what ends up happening is that by the time we go out into the real world, we're so used to not being around people and us doing all the judging, that social anxiety shows up really strong when you go out into the real world. Because now you're in front of other people that could judge you. You're no longer God behind your little computer. I guarantee you that your life will change. This is why so many, you know, this Doomer meme got popular and a lot of the guys that are doomers are guys that sit behind the internet and they do all the judging. They got an opinion about everything. And then when it comes time to fix up their life, to maybe, you know, do something, go get a job interview, go get a gym membership, I don't know, sign up for dance class, whatever you want to do. These are the guys that have social anxiety. They can't approach the girl. Why are so many men af uh, afraid to approach women? Being emotional and anxious like that is not natural. And I don't care who says that that's natural part of being a human being. No, it's not. You're not supposed to be anxious. That is not the spirit like you're, you're supposed to have as a man. You, weren't, you didn't just come out of the womb and have this about you. All right. Imagine if there was just, let's say there's God, something that we don't even know of, can't even conceive of. And he decided I'm going to put man there. You think he would make man anxious, stressed out, emotional wreck? No, that's like not the right way. All right. That's not, you can choose to believe whatever you want. If I'm believing in God, I sure as hell am not believing in a God that decided to make me anxious and afraid. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. Power to stand up for right against what is wrong. Love. The ability to love other people without judging them. All right? To love others without judging them, without myself playing God. My judgment means nothing. And lastly, firstly, in the verse, I don't have a spirit of fear. Fear means I don't got to fear anything. 
That's, I don't even have that, man. I was made a human being. I'm not supposed to have fear. Now, maybe if I'm getting chased by a lion, maybe if there's a grizzly bear coming for me, but simply the fear that we dis- we discover just by sitting in rumination and and hear about what other people think about us, it's all because I decided to play God and start judging people because I wanted to. And then I wonder why I'm miserable. I wonder why I don't have gratitude on a daily basis. Why it's hard to get out of bed and you know be joyful. I start, well, no shit, man. You're making yourself miserable. Okay, you got more than ever. It, look at the, the amount of channels that are created from these guys on YouTube that have guys that don't show their face. And what they do is they take, they point out other people's content and they make fun of them. I don't care what industry this is fitness industry, politics, it could be, you know, business, whatever. Someone's always saying, this guy's retarded. And then everyone that watches these, they're laughing, they're rolling, they're, you know, commenting, fuck that guy, LOL, you know, we're all having fun, it's all fun and games, and then everyone's miserable. Alright, so if you got, if you're one of those guys, get your act together, take responsibility, stop judging people, stop judging yourself. Stop playing God. And it blows my mind because these content creators that never show their face are the ones that are the most concerned about being doxxed because they're the ones that fear judgment the most. All right. And it's just mind blowing, man. It's absolutely mind blowing. So now, you know, and it's so liberating and freeing when you see yourself with like love, when you stop judging everything that you stop judging all your hair and you stop judging your body constantly you got a little love handle you know you got some little fat right here you stop you stop picking everyone apart you just let them live and it's a beautiful thing it takes a lot of stress off your back you don't you you can't there's no way that you can be perfect so you stop setting the standard so high you got to remember that we were all kids and we were just living, dude. We were having fun growing up. I don't care where you grew up. My best friends are from Serbia. And I recently watched these videos of them when they were like two and five. And by me watching that video, them just in the hills of Serbia. And I was just like, man, everything, you know, I love my friends. But anything that I dislike about my friends, they were once just children. They were once just kids just like me just like me and they were just having fun and they grew up and you know they became who they are today but they were just kids and everyone was just a kid innocent just trying to have fun and play and you know we're impacted big time by our parents i've talked about this before but look your mother especially i see most mothers have a tendency to really dish out the judgment i know my mother she really gave out the judgment man and uh, she was a great mom. All right? I don't want to paint my mom as some terrible witch. All right? She was a great mom, loving, kind. But I would see in her that around the church, around different friend groups, even with her own friends, she was very judgmental. Since she was following the good path, the good and narrow path, just like many of us on the self-improvement lane are doing, we're trying to stay on the narrow path, we judge other people that are not on that same path. And you got to understand... That is not your place, man. That's going to make you miserable and takes you off the the path. And so it's very easy when you're trying to get your life together. You start going, you're messing up. That's evil. That's wrong. And now you've started to, you know, play the higher power. You're not. All right. And you cannot do that, dude. It's going to, I saw it and it rubbed off on me. I started judging more and more and more, I started judging where I'm unconscious, dude. I'm judging everybody. I challenge you guys, go a week, whenever you're on Instagram and you see these models, and you're like, yeah, fuck these girls. Showing their ass, getting famous. Don't judge them. Whenever you see comments on YouTube, don't judge them, don't even let them bother you. You see those people at the gym, you know that trainer you see every day, or maybe the, uh, 
you know, some people at your gym that you always got to say hi to, don't judge them. Let people live. All right. And you will find a whole lot of peace. Try that for a week. See if the social anxiety doesn't go away and you don't have just more confidence. If you're not more outgoing, you just say hi to random people. You want the best for them. This is optimal way of living. Now, a lot of people don't like to live like this because they, they get a good feeling from being angry and emotional down here. All right. They think that's normal. It's not normal. Optimal way of living is up here where you want the best for everyone. You're experiencing joy, gratitude, and peace. And everything's going to be all right. Are you stoic? You know, it's like there's no better way. So it's up to you guys if you want to try this. Last thing before we go, I mentioned how your mom can can sort of bring this to you. Maybe your father too. But from what I've seen with other fathers, fathers are usually more stoic, more grounded. They're kind of focused on just providing for the kids. Obviously, they judge and stuff. But the mom is, you know, gossip among women groups and her friends and the, the people in her life. So that does rub off on you, okay? And it says in the Bible, you know, instead of pointing the log out or the, or the splinter out in your friend's eye, point the log out in yours, all right? A verse from the Bible, something like that. It's like, look, before you point the finger, man, look at yourself. And the thing I'm most realizing is that we're becoming a, a society that judges all the time without knowing, and it's making us miserable. It's disconnecting us. There's not much love in the family, in the community, and among, you know, and, and building this, this group of men, especially that need to come together. All right? So a week, try it. No judgment. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.